Okay, so now that we have uh, two trigonometric identities ready, okay, uh, namely uh, sine x over cos x is tan x, but more importantly at the moment to, for us to practice is using this sine squared plus cos squared equals 1. How are we going to use that fact? Well, it comes in to solving equations that look like this. So in this case, we've got 3 sine squared x equals 3 minus 2 cos x, OK? So what I can see is that I've got a sine squared and I've got a cos x. Now, I need to get, in this type of problem, everything to be either sine in terms of sine x or everything to be in terms of cos x. Only then do I have a chance of factorising it and then solving the equations that follow. So I use this trigonometric identity. All that I can do is substitute for that sine squared. I can't rearrange this to get cos x equals, OK, without making this absolutely horrendous. So this is what I must replace. I must replace the sine squared. So if I rearrange this to get sine squared equals, I can take cos squared from both sides. And I can use that as my replacement. So I'm going to have three lots of sine squared, which I can replace with the 1 minus cos squared x. And that's going to be equal to 3 minus 2 cos x. The right-hand side stays the same. You can now expand the brackets out. So 3 minus 3 cos squared x is 3 minus 2 cos x. And then take everything onto one side of the equation. So if I move everything onto the right-hand side, what I can see is that I can take 3 from both sides, so they both cancel. And that's going to leave me with 0 is equal to 3 cos squared x minus 2 cos x. That is a quadratic that I can factorise, because I can pull the cosine x out of a single bracket leaving me with 3 cos x minus 2 inside the bracket. So either cos x is 0 or cos x is equal to 2 thirds. So now I sketch cosine. So cosine of x looks like that between 0 and 360. So if I draw in the line x equals uh, y equals 0, that is the um, x-axis. And so that is where the curve crosses the x-axis. That's what I'm looking for. And I know that that point is 90 degrees, and that point is 270 degrees. So the two solutions coming from this equation are 90 and 270. From this equation, if I draw in the horizontal line of two-thirds, I have a solution there and a solution there. So if I inverse cosine of two-thirds, OK, making sure my calculator is in degrees, inverse cos of two-thirds is 48.2 degrees. So that's 48.2 to one decimal place. So that point is 48.2. And this one can be found, because if that distance is 48.2, then so is that distance. So it's 360 take away 48.2. And that gets me 311.8 degrees to one decimal place. So the two solutions that I'm getting from this equation of 48.2 and 311.8 degrees to one decimal place. And they are the four solutions to the original problem that I had.